Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing. I'm joined by Mr. Larry Bobka, a master fitter here at our Second Swing Minnetonka location. And Larry, today is all about you because you've got a putter in your hands that is pretty special, you know, not least of all because it has your name on it. Why don't you kind of tell the world a little bit about your new Bobka limited edition putters? Yeah, you know, usually we're talking about somebody else's golf clubs and, uh, you know, um, powers that be at Second Swing asked me to do a putter. Well, I haven't done putter since, oh, probably the mid 80s when I worked for Wilson. And I will tell you, I think they were kind of ugly. I, I, <laughs> but, I refuse to believe that. But, well, they weren't, they weren't the prettiest things, but Lee Elder did actually win a senior tour event with, with one of my putters. But uh, I haven't done a putter in a long time. You know, I've taught putting, you know, assistant golf coach for Minnesota on short game and putting and helped a lot of tour players and you know and it, it was probably something that I never thought I was going to do so mm -hmm. you know this is kind of a really good opportunity so as I as I thought about what kind of putter I was going to do you, you know you know I, I've putted the last couple of years with a Goodwood putter yes that that has very low technology it's it's you know very similar to an old Spalding HBA which is just a flange blade um, you know, I thought about, hey, can I, you know, I can do a really cool 8802 style putter. But when you're designing golf clubs, you really can't design for yourself. You mm -hmm. got to design for your public, you know. So we've got a putter here that looks like a lot of other putters, you know. It's the answer, answer two style, yep. Newport two style. Well, for the people that come in here and get fit, it certainly makes more sense, you know, so for a couple of my college players, they might end up playing this putter. But, you know, so I looked at it and I also looked back to, to three guys that, that I worked with through the years and really loved the way they putted. Okay, you take it back to Payne Stewart in 1991, mm -hmm. winning the U.S. Open at Hazeltine with an answer to putter, you know. Yeah worked with Payne, designed clubs for him, you know, tragedy, you know, maybe one of golf's all-time big tragedies yeah. that he's still not around. Um, let's go back to Mark O'Meara. Mark's been a great friend for 35 years. Putted, putted and won his tournaments with the answer too. So you look at that and then, you know, of course we, we have to look at Tiger with the Newport too, mm -hmm. you know, arguably of maybe course. one of the most famous putters ever. Well, it, it's a great style, you know. Karsten came up with the, with the answer style back in the late '60s. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's some things that you don't fight City Hall. So, um, but I I looked at it and and was very fortunate to hook up the guy with the guys from Meridian Milling over in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and basically told them, hey, this is this is how I need the putter to look. This is how I want the putter to feel. We're doing it in carbon steel. We're doing it in stainless steel. Yep. You know, it's got a very simple look. It's got a dot on top. I mean, there's virtually nothing on the bottom of the putter. There's nothing on the face other than a milling to make it feel a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. You know, a little hand stamping in the back. Uh, we've got a couple models there that are actually the number one model of, of the carbon and the stainless, which will go into my basement, of course. Um, but you know, you start looking at a putter and you look at this style of putter and it's been done, it's done thousands of times. Mm -hmm. Okay. I squared up the lines. I wanted to make sure there was nothing that was going to take your eye away from it. Okay. One of the things that bothers me all the time about this style of putter and especially a plumber's neck is this area right here. That needs to be perpendicular or square to your line that you're trying to hit that putter. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at some putters, they're a little cockeyed, they're, a little, you know, some people don't see that. Really good players, discerning players see that. I mean, I, you know, when you put this down, I didn't want anything to take away from you looking at the golf ball. Right. Okay. Actually move the, the neck a little bit closer to the center of the putter, made it a little bit taller. So the intersection of the shaft comes much closer to the center of the face right. to make it more solid. It's got, a, it's got a 45 degree hang. I mean, it is, that, that was one of the things I wanted. Yep. You know, in, in the carbon steel model, it's 345 grams. 
Stainless is a little bit heavier, it's 350. You know, there's a lot of putters out there at 370, 380, mm -hmm. 400 grams. I think that's far too heavy. Um, very fortunate that the guy who runs KBS, Larry Bodel, I used to work for him when I was at UST. So uh, they made me a putter chef, you know, and it's actually something, depending on how somebody wants to feel, I can tip it differently. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, very fortunate to have a long time relationship with Bob Lampkin Jr. from Lampkin Grips. And he basically made me this blackout grip. I mean, there's nothing on it. People go, well, hey, everybody's got their grips. You can see the, you know, the Scotty Cameron, the Betnardi. Well, this is a limited edition. Right. You know, I'm not here to sell 100,000 putters. You know, these are, these are gonna be, you know, five to 10, 15 putters that you get an opportunity that, hey, I got to make a putter the way I think a putter should look right. the, way, the way I've seen the best players in the world use a putter and what it should look like and that's what I think. I think that's one of the biggest points because you talked about how kind of your philosophy has shaped kind of what this putter looks like through looking at Payne Stewart, Marco Mara, Tiger Woods. But I think really you just touched on there, which is also hugely important, is that you are physically, you are looking at the finished product and every putter that is ordered is pretty much approved by yourself. It's, this isn't a situation where you're just kind of sending off the design and then it gets shipped well, no, to them. It, it, this is approved by you. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're sitting on my kitchen table, they're in my basement. Um, you know, every one of them, we, there's minimal engraving. I'm hand stamping the backs. Uh, you know, they'll be my name. It'll be either a C or an S for carbon steel or stainless steel, and there'll be a number in there. Mm -hmm. It'll say number two, it'll say, the number ones are not going, those are mine, uh, but it'll be stamped number two, number three, number four. I mean, that's, you know, it's not one of one of a hundred, whatever. I mean, we might do, you know, we might do five, we might do 10. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just like it. I, I just had an opportunity to bring a putter that where somebody pulls out in their bag and it's, you know, I, I, I'm not a flashy guy when it comes to golf equipment. I mean, I, I, my theory is always they're tools, not jewels. Right. Okay. There's not going to be a bunch of crazy stamping and a bunch of crazy colors. That's, you know what? But you're going to putt really well with this. Exactly. You know, I can fit it for you. It's very bendable. So if somebody needs it flat and you need more loft, you need less loft, you need it longer, we can do all that for you for somebody who wants to order the putter. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is, this is, you know, it's kind of like hammer and nails, you know, right. it, it's a tool. It's a tool to help you to putt better and play better. Exactly. It's a tool that I think you at home already see. It's a very elegant, very kind of dignified look, but at the same time, as someone who's been lucky enough to roll a few putts, it also feels spectacular and we can't wait for you at home to have a chance to maybe, maybe grab one of these Bobcut limited edition putters. Larry, thanks again for your time. Sure. Thanks for watching.